Welcome to part 4 of Grand Theft Auto 5 and in this episode we're going to be dealing with another mission. But before we do, we're going to have to park the car. And there's a good reason why we will be needing it. Not for this mission anyway. And the only reason why I stopped the, the part in the middle of the street last part is because of the fact that as soon as we come here, we move on to another mission. So that's why I didn't immediately go home. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's go over to the house. Oh, of course I say that po boy's lies. But you know what? It's going to be a bit much. I have no idea how you cope. Of course I cope. I'm a woman. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> <laughs> but girl, I done done all that I can do. But you know how boys are. Wait a minute. Oh, girl. Whew. Hey, how much further? We ain't even gone five yards yet. Okay. I know. I'm just asking. This is spirit walking. Exercises body and soul. It's all the rage. We are women and we are free. Free and free. We are women. We are free. We are women. We are free. We are women. We are shouting. We are women. We are women and we are Damn. F, is that your auntie? Yeah, thank God I missed her crazy ass. She's spirit walking this shit now, man. That's just her attempts to... Hey, hey, don't be talking shit about your auntie, man. She got... It. I mean, she cool as a motherfucker, man. Come on. Come where? We gotta go pick up some shit from around the corner, man. We can walk and talk at the same time, my nigga. Why the fuck we can't drive? Around the block with Chop? You need to walk with your fat ass. <sighs> yeah, okay, you tall, linky son of a bitch. On, well, hey, that's go. the let's stupidity go, that you'll see you from a, Aunt Denise every chance you get. Speaking of stupidity, we're gone. about to do something Dog, stupid. Because no we're with Lamar. Y'all all remember part two, pay. right? Yeah. That was stupid game, beyond belief. Seriously. What the hell did he do with that Faggio anyway? Whatever the case, it's time for us to get in the van. Something tells me we're going to be kidnapping someone, aren't we? That's the only reason why we're getting in this van. Sometimes I question Lamar, but you know what? There's not much to really question. He's a dumbass. And I'm not just throwing the word out there just to be mean-spirited. No, I call it like I see it, people. When I said Titus was a dumbass, by Final Fantasy X-3, like it revealed that, home. yes, he was a dumbass. A when I say Vaughn is an idiot, no by God, man, Vaughn is literally an idiot. Asses, Hell, the manga said. even admits that he's an idiot. Hey, why we doing this, dog? Man, when I say well, Renoa is retarded as hell, More like Jesus Christ, she's life. retarded is as hell. But... Itself, I guess. Lamar... What we're about to do is just absolutely stupid. Exactly. So, quite frankly, the gist is, we're kidnapping someone. Not just anyone. Apparently, Lamar's planning on kidnapping somebody and holding them for ransom for a quick, easy cash. I'm baffled as to why he would think that that's a good idea. Then again, this is a guy who spent most of his life gangbanging, so... I mean, there's not much he could do. Still, the fact that we're going out and capturing someone is just absolutely too. It is just absolutely stupid. And all he's been doing is just be. I mean, Franklin and Lamar just gets into arguments, but Franklin's just trying to tell him that well, things like what he's doing is not the way to go. So yeah, we've. Got to get out of the way of the cars hey, and stuff like that. So why are we in this this Come on, move. Move. I'm talking about the cars, not the van. Because all these cars tend to get into the way. And they will be more in, the, more in the way when we try to capture this person. As a matter of fact, we're coming on to that point right now. Oh, and for the record, as you're about to soon see... As soon as we get up there, ballers are nothing but pussies. Let's just put alley. it to you like this. Oh, wait. Let's just drive into the alleyway right now. Move out of the way. I don't want to be caught by the cops running you over. Hey, what's up, boo? Ain't you little Laida's cousin? Yeah. Damn, you short-witty. 
I was just saying, I was trying to and holler at you. And you ain't hollering at nothing over here. Why has it got to be like that? I'm an OG. And OG, so what? So the fuck what, nigga? It's a million OGs Well, shit, here. how about I put one of these little X pills up your ass crack? Next thing you know, you're going to be begging for it, That's Mobo. disgusting. What's happening now, D-Man? Ain't no fun if the gangsters can't have none. Man, fuck you, Mark. I ain't sharing no ass to CGF. Ain't nobody sharing nothing. Man, shut the hell up, fuck bitch. Fuck you, nigga. Man, fuck y'all. Hey, ain't there a law against you mark-ass gangsters insignia mask wearing motherfuckers? Oh, so what's up now, nigga? You snitching or something, oh, nigga? Oh, shit. Bitch ass nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I'm out of here. Nigga. Fuck y'all, hey, bitch. That, nigga. Come on, let's go. That's right, folks. We're chasing after a baller. Who, by the way, has police protection. He on a bike, man. Which is odd because of the fact that the police drive, who was protecting the ballers got Bobby killed Bobby. in San Andreas. Oh, right, I forgot. Bulgarin. Yeah, I, I forgot about the them. Bulgarin was what still dealing with the ballers, so therefore the ballers have now become uh, fully protected from the law. So what we're doing is practically what we did in part two, was, and that was chasing a guy in a slower moving vehicle than what the person we're chasing after has. Although this one's going to be a little bit different. Instead of us having to kill this person because we need him alive. Oh, by the way, if you shoot him, you will fail. Or if you make him crash his bike. It's for some reason instant this death in this game. I don't know what. Oh! I, know why you think that's I did not want that to happen. But as I was saying, if you uh, shoot him and it's and, and he ends up falling and it's somehow instant death, you fail the mission. The whole point of the matter is you need to uh, capture him and you need to. Oh shit! I did not mean to do that. I just went a full 360 trying to turn the block. Good news is, he's right up the street and he crashed into a bus. So therefore, um, we didn't have to do too much. Man, take time. Go get that fool. Nigga, you just sitting your ass there with your feet kicked up. So let's go. Oh, sorry about that. I just knocked over something. Let's go after him with Chop. And all you have to do is follow them. If you let Chop get killed, mission failed. And also one other thing. If you Get are up, too homie. slow to we keep up with the, the baller, well, mission failed also. This is a good way for Franklin to gain up stamina running from people or running after them too. At least I didn't get shot up this time around. Alright. Now that we just broke the gate, let's go after him. He's probably hiding in one of these cars. It's always going to be the third one. Oh, and Beckard. You're going to have to be in chop vision as well. Because I think that is one of the uh, requirements for gold. The other one, I think you're supposed to have... Make sure the van does not take any damage. That's the only other thing. And the van has taken some damage. So therefore, uh, that's not the case. Find that food. So let's go after him with Chop. I did not mean to run him over. Come on, come on, Chop. Sniff him out, Chop, Chop. Leave me. Let's to switch him. over to Chop, and I think we could find him there. I think you need to stay a certain amount of minutes as Chop, but at the same time, this is the only time you can play as him in the actual game. That is until you get him later on. Hold on, I think there's one here. Come on, let me open up the let me open up the cart. And he's not here. I'm gonna find you, motherfucker. But I think you might want to check one of the train tracks. I mean one of the uh train uh cabooses or something like that. He there may be a uh health item up in here. So one of these Trains oh, had one. Just in case you took some damage on the way here. So we'll switch over to uh we'll switch over to Chop and let's see where he goes from here. And Chop is actually not going anywhere. Um 
Oh shit! Chop! No! No chop! That don't look like no ballers OG to me. Oh, of course chop, he gets distracted. Good get... lord! Chop! No! Ah, <sighs> chop! Seriously? Thing, chop, you filthy motherfucker! You have to get chop off of him. Not the time, chop. We gotta go. Come on, you. All right. Oh, and they mentioned stand. something about Chop having to be that trained. Chop. That's the thing about Chop. You chop. actually need a phone app in order to train him. And that actually costs real world money. So, there's that. Now, we're going to have to go through three of the... Oh, actually, no. We found him on the first try. Oh, shit. You scared of dogs, nigga? Oh, shit. All right, let's follow this baller and, catch her, and capture him, man. Because... He's been leading us on long enough. And we got him. Alright. Now all we need to do is not attract attention by getting back over to Lomar's house. Here's the thing though. The reason why um we made a terrible mistake in capturing this crib? guy even though Franklin was with him. Shut up, man. You the reason why me. Lamar did not set this up properly. Lamar, Lamar thinks really? that he's well, gonna get that gonna a gonna lot of money. Sorry for that voice crack there. But he is sadly mistaken. Move, that person is a Be very quiet, important baller. On top of the fact that it's gonna also affect the later mission. Oh, and speaking of Lamar's acting, antics affecting a later mission, there's another mission after this that we're gonna have to deal with. But first, we're gonna have to drive him over to Lamar's house, or at least we would have, if it wasn't for the fact that, well, Lamar literally tried to call to get ransom money with his own phone. Now I can understand if he used a tell if he used a uh phone booth, but his own private cell phone. He's an idiot. So on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna drop Lamar and chop off. Because what he just did just screwed us over. And we're probably going to have to stay away for a little while. So on that note, I think we're done here. In case you were wondering why I was using Franklin's ability throughout the entirety of that chase, turns out that's one of the mission objectives in order to get a gold. Unfortunately, I was one second short. That seems to be the thing most of the time. But whatever the case, folks, we have beaten Chop, and now it's time for us to park this van and go straight back to the house. Oh, almost forgot. I need to increase the power of my punches, ladies and gentlemen. So if you don't mind, I'll be finding some random victim to do that with. Meanwhile, a quick note about that Chop app I was talking about. You have to actually buy that, install that into your phone, and it only works on either iPhone or Windows. And also, there's one other thing. You have to pay $14.99 and link the app to your... Uh, account on rockstar.com that's the only way you could train chop that's fucking stupid anyway we're going back inside 
We just got finished got punching some me? random bitch in the face, and now it's time for us to, uh... Hold on, let me, let me go in my room. Let me go in my room. Or I could just heal myself, doesn't matter. Either way, we're gonna call this a part, and I will see you all in the next step. Get in the room. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Grand Theft Auto 5 when we actually do some more Strangers and Freaks because they've just been unlocked as of what we did this part. See you guys next time.